يصيبنا إلا ما كتب الله لنا هو مولانا وعلى الله فليتوكل المؤمنون There's a book Al Humaydi wrote in, in the book Jadwat al Muqtabis, he wrote of the history of some of, of the leaders in Umara of Spain, uh, of our Spain. Uh, and he wrote about a story about one of the leaders and it included Ibn Hazm, the great Imam Ibn Hazm's father, who was from Spain. You know, Ibn Hazm was from An Andalus. Uh, the leader, his name is Al Mansur. Al Mansur had a day when people would come in to him and convey their problems write a letters of request, speak to him about matters. One day a woman came in pleading that her son be released from prison. He had, Al Mansur had imprisoned her son. She came begging and pleading that Al Mansur release her son. When the captive's mother cried and began to beg Al Mansur, he got even more arrogant. He said, oh, you reminded me, your son is still a captive? Oh, we're gonna execute him. So he took out a paper to write his order, as he always does. They go by the order of the paper. And he said, you slub. He said, you slub, meaning crucify him. When he wrote it on the paper, he said, you luck, which means release him. Then he handed the paper over to the minister, which is Ibn Hazm's father. His minister was Ibn Hazm's father to carry out the crucifixion. Sometime later, maybe the next day, he asked his minister or deputy, Ibn Hazm's father, did you carry out the crucifixion? He said, oh, uh, oh, Amir, look at the order. You, you said, release him. We're preparing him for release. Al-Mansur, the leader, got angry. He said, crucify him. He said, crucify him. But as he's writing it, he said, Yutlaq, release him. He's saying, crucify him. His hand is writing, release him. And he gives it to Ibn Hazm's father. Again, he asked Ibn Hazm's father, did you people crucify that person, that prisoner? He said, Amir, we, you said release him. The paper says release him. A third time, he wrote, release him, while his mouth was saying, crucify him. Same scenario three times. When Al-Mansur asked for the third time, he showed him the paper in his handwriting. It says release, he's being prepared for release. When they showed him the decree that he wrote, it finally sunk in his head, in Al-Mansur's head, and he says, Let him go. Let him go. I have no control over this. Whoever Allah wants released, I could never keep him a captive. Who made a leader with all his power and might and his intention? say something his own hands couldn't even write it he said something while his own hands wrote something different it is allah whom you should be relying on who caused his hand to write something different than what his mind wanted him to write allah is the only one who comes in between a man and a person and his heart you have a marital issue Turn to Allah because He controls your spouse's mind more than your spouse controls his mind or her mind themselves. When it's a work problem, put your reliance on Allah and turn to Allah because Allah has more control over your employer's mind than He does Himself. Not a moving, living creation except Allah grasps its forelocks. اتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب ومن يتوكل على الله فهو حسبه إن الله بالغ أمره قد جعل الله لكل شيء قدرا